Hey there. In this video, we are going to look at how you can use the cosine law to find a side length in any triangle if you're given the other two side lengths and the angle in between them. Let's do that right now. All right, so if we're going to use the cosine law here to find a missing side uh, in this triangle here, before we do that, let's think about why it is we need to use the cosine law here and not the sine law. If we were going to use the sine law, we need to have an angle side pair. Sine law involves two angle side pairs and creating a proportion using those values. We have an angle, but we don't have the side that goes with it. We have two sides, but we don't have the angles that go with either one of those. So we can't use the sine law here. There's no way to get uh, an angle side pair to that. Conversely, the cosine law involves two sides and the angle in between it. And we use that to find the other side across from that, all right? If we're going to set this up then, we have our cosine law formula here. Those are the letters that you usually see used for that. All this means is one side, the side here, you use the other two sides and the angle across from the first side. This side and this angle go together. That is the information that you use to find it there. So if we're going to fill this in, it doesn't matter what we put for A and B here. It can be either 8 or 11 for either one. But the key one here is this C is what we're looking for. C squared. So this has to be our angle here, 79 degrees. And this we'll say is 8. And this we'll say is 11. Now this is minus 2 times 8 times 11 times cosine of 79 degrees. To work that out, basically we just need to evaluate this using a calculator. We can do it part way without a calculator if we want. We could say this is 64. We could say this is 121. We could even multiply all this stuff out here. 176 cosine of 79. Now it's important to realize here that when we're evaluating all this stuff here, we can simplify it, but we got to be careful with what we're doing here. We could even add these together and make this 185 minus 176 cos 79. Now, we have to think carefully about this. There's a minus there, and this is actually a multiplication in here. So we have to think order of operations. This multiplication has to happen first. So don't think, wow, those numbers look like I should subtract them. Don't make the mistake of subtracting those numbers first. I would at this point put all of that into your calculator as is, get an approximate value for this, and then we'll think about where to go from there. So let's get our calculator. Now make sure it's in degree mode, which it is. And we're going to put all of that in here, 185 minus 176 cosine 79. And we're going to get that approximate value for that, roughly 151 something. So I'm going to put that down here. C squared is roughly 151.4 and the rest. If we're going to find out what C is now, that value is what C squared is. So we need to do the square root of that value. Now I'm going to do square root of that answer so that I don't have to put all of that in again. It just uses the previous answer. Most calculators have that feature. So then we know that the value of that C, that missing side is 12.3 roughly. So C is roughly square root of that 151.4 or 12.3. Right. So we know that this missing side here is roughly 12.3. All right. Things to realize there are that to find the third side of a triangle, you use the angle across from it as the angle in the cosine law and the other two sides. And you just carefully evaluate it all until you have that side length. All right, so that's finding a side using the cosine law.